okay so let us try to go for the next topic that is about your sound what is a sound beta sound is nothing but what it is a form of your energy i can say it is a form of energy a form of your energy isn't it so it, what is a sound sound is a form of energy which creates a sensation of what beta hearing in the human ears isn't it so the form of energy or it is a form of your energy which can be converting from one form to another form like say for example when you clap isn't it sound is been produced beta so what is happening during the clapping you are using your muscular energy which is been converting into your sound energy isn't it so we are taking two hands and you are hitting it so that your muscular energy is being used for the producing the sound waves when you are clapping the muscular energy is been right now converting into your sound energy part of relation so when we clap the sound is been produced and in this process what exactly is happening the muscular energy is been changing into your sound energy part of relation the sound can be produced by anything beta it can be produced by vibrating tuning fork by colliding bodies by a mouth organs a mouth organ pipes etc part of relation so how the sound can be produced beta sound can be produced by vibrating tuning forks or it can be produced by the colliding bodies or by your mouth like say we have your violin what do you call that one flutes something like that so in that one also musical sounds are been produced right now isn't it so by the mouth also we can produce the sound part so in the production of this sound what is happening is we are converting the form form of your energy into your sound energy is it clear for everyone so what we are doing so it is a form of energy which is been converting into your sound part of relation can i say like that one beta and sound waves are longitudinal waves sound waves are longitudinal waves what do you mean by longitudinal waves beta can anyone tell me how the longitudinal waves will be propagating i told you in the starting class the waves will be moving parallel to the wave motion or called as of your longitudinal waves like say for example if this is your tuning fork this is your tuning fork you hit this tuning fork to your hammer or maybe a to a rubber a very hard rubber so it start producing the vibrations it start producing the vibration that means this will produce the vibrations like this zing ane support ostundi ona kada so now it will whatever the water molecules are like say air molecules have been present here right now in this one the air particles which have been present here will be getting right now moved from one point to your another point like this if the distance between them is very very larger they are called as of your compression if the distance between them is very tight like this again there is a large distance between the particles again the particles are very tight again the particles are very larger distance that means the air molecules will be getting compressed and as well as of your wave fact that means there is a larger distance between them and also the smaller distance between them so if there is a larger distance between them they are known as of your rare fractions they are called as what beta they are called as of your rare fractions part of relation is it clear here so this one is called as of your what rare fractions okay now if the distance between them is compressed this one is called as of your compressions this is called as of what compressions clear so sound waves are what type of wave beta longitudinal waves that means the longitudinal waves are moving parallel to the wave molecules or parallel to the wave part of relation so for a sound wave to propagate the density as well as the pressure of the medium are given then that will be varying with the distances above and below the average values that is a compulsory condition for the sound waves part of relation so i can write even that point right now here so when sound waves when sound waves propagate when a sound wave propagate the density the density as well as pressure as well as the pressure of the medium pressure of the medium varies 
okay with what with your distance where is with your distance okay so when the sound waves have been propagating what what have been changing their beta the density is been changing it is been varying and as well as of your pressure of the medium is also changing with respect to what beta with respect to the distance like see you have the pressure cooker in your home isn't it so when you cook when you are cooking something or your mom has been cooking something you might have been listening the whistles n number of a times if you go to the near to the pressure cooker and see it when it is when it is whistling you might have been seen that it is exerting the pressure and due to that pressure a sound is being created isn't it so the pressure and the density at that position is been changing because of that one a sound in the form of a whistle is been coming out through the pressure cooker particulation so i can say that right now sound is nothing but a form of energy in which the sound waves are longitudinal waves that means whenever the sound is been propagating the density as well as of your pressure of the medium varies with respect to distances and here the longitudinal waves will always move parallel to the displacement of the particle in the form of your compressions and as well as of your rare fractions particulations compressions i am representing it by your c and rare fractions we can represent it by your capital r is it clear up to here for everyone ardhavan dadi yes sir isn't it so i can yes, say that there are some regions of the medium where the density as well as the pressure is high and there are certain regions where there will be the density and the pressure will be your low part of relation so whenever if i am talking about the regions of your density as well as pressure is high these regions are called as of your compressions beta and there some regions the medium the density as well as of the pressure is low these regions will be called as of what rare fractions so where the point where the densities are more i can write here in itself here one more important point at some regions at some regions of your medium at some regions of your medium the density density as well as pressure is high as well as pressure is your high okay this region is called as of what beta compressions where it is happening at your compressions so at your compressions pressure and as well as of your density are right now for me high okay at rare fractions the density and as well as of pressures will be low part of relation so region of maximum compression will represents me with beta pressure is a pressure amplitude so maximum pressure if i am taking right now that will be representing me the pressure amplitude part of relation again in the same way if i write at some regions at some regions of your medium at some regions of your medium the density the density as well as pressure the density as well as of a pressure is low this region is called as what beta rare fraction is called as of your rare fraction clear for everyone okay is it clear yes sir okay and the distance between your two consecutive compressions or two consecutive rare fractions is called as of your wavelength beta make sure of that one the distance between your two consecutive this one is rare fraction and this one is also your rare fraction this is your compression this is your compression and this is your rare fraction and this is your compression okay now so the distance between two consecutive compressions or the distance between two consecutive rare fractions is called as of your wavelength lambda is called as of your wavelength lambda can i say even the wavelength is nothing but what beta the distance between the two consecutive compressions or two consecutive rare fractions is also called as of your wavelength is called as of your what wavelength part of relation so region of maximum compression is called as of what beta maximum compression onto that point is having the pressure amplitude so if it is having maximum compression right here itself maximum compression maximum compression represents your pressure amplitude pressure amplitude okay so whenever i'm using a word pressure amplitude it means the compression is maximum for that and what is the wavelength beta the distance between two consecutive rare fractions are your consecutive compressions are called as of your wavelength is it clear for everyone
so that was about your introduction related to your sound waves and how the sound waves have been produced in the sound waves what is happening it is a form of your energy during the clapping the muscular energy is been converting into your sound energy somehow some way some type of energy is been converted in this one is it clear for everyone sure let us try to go for the next topic in this one continuation that is about your longitudinal waves longitudinal waves or we can say in the bracket pressure waves we can say this one is about your pressure waves okay so what is the basic longitudinal wave equation beta so i can write here right now longitudinal wave equation longitudinal wave equation is y is equals to your a into your again sine of your omega t minus of your k into your x okay here y is parallel to your x beta okay here y is parallel to your x okay displacement is parallel to the more wave motion part of relation clear for example for this one is nothing but what beta sound waves the best example for the longitudinal waves are what beta sound waves is that equation clear for everyone so what is the longitudinal wave equation so y is equals to your a into your sine of your omega t minus of your k into your x clear yes sir chalo now see this one beta say for example this is some cylindrical region or a cylindrical pipe and from here you are exerting the pressure or you are talking from here right now when you talk this from here right now the air molecules which have been present in this one will get compressed reflex compressed reflex and will be trying to move in the front direction like say before talking the molecules have been present here right now here like this i'm just taking for your understanding and this is your also the region of your all air molecules which have been present in this one so some random air molecules have been present in this one like this some random air molecules have been present like this okay and it is open to the atmosphere but here the pressure is atmospheric pressure and here also it is your atmospheric pressure part of relation clear that means the um, whatever the air molecules have been enclosed in this one this is the amount of the air molecules which have been enclosed in this one so the mass of this one i can write as mass is equals to your volume into your density volume is equals to i can write as of your area into your displacement like say if it is moving by a small displacement that is a dx into your rho i can write like this okay that means initial volume of this one will be equal to your area into your dx area into your dx that means like say for example if it is right now here particle right now the displacement of this molecule whatever i am taking right now if it is going from this region to your another small region right now so this is a position of your x beta and it is going to this region right now this means this will be equal to your x plus of your dx okay and area of this one i am taking it as of your s area of this one is nothing but of your s so the vibrations are going in this one like this emulate we are been trapping the air in a cylindrical part of relation beta and say for example if the wave is been going or if the sound waves are going from x to your new point that is nothing but x plus dx then the mass of that one will be equal to how much beta volume into density volume is equal to area into length which has been moved dx into your rho part of relation clear that means when it is happening beta when you are standing somewhere here and say for example you are holding a drum and you are started beating for this one the moment you take a drum and try to hold it and start beating so it will be producing the vibrations right now so because of this vibrations this molecules present here starts colliding and because of that one this molecules will be trying to move in the front direction so they will produce a sort of a sound you might have been seen that uh with the help of a musical instrument we can make an objects to get turn or maybe fall or if you might have been seen any time like say i can they can say you the best example is if you might have been seen the uh, rajnikanth's robo 
isn't it? So there is one scene where the, uh, what do you call that one? Ashwarya Rai will be preparing for our medical entrance uh, examination or maybe for the exam part of relation. And a lot of sound speakers will be produced on the outside. Isn't it? So because of that sound waves, the objects which have been present, like say when the Rajnikanth goes for the uh, for the persons to ask them to uh, lower the frequency of the sound, they don't do it, but they still increases. And he gets angry again, he still also increases in such a way that all the objects which have been present there, like TV, a glass and everything will slatter and they'll try to break. That means that sound waves which have been produced, that one is having such energy that they can break the barriers in front of that one and can move in the front direction. They can even break the bar, what do you call that one, dance and with a very huge amount of a frequencies of your sound waves when they have been given, like say seismic waves which have been coming, earthquakes which have been coming, that are all because of your waves only better. So the waves are having that much amount of your energy that they can destroy anything whichever has been coming in front of that one if it is having the sufficient amount of your energy. The same way, when you're producing your sound here right now with the help of your drum, it will produce a vibration. I'm producing a small sound. So this sound will exert the pressure on this air molecules which have been present and this air molecules will try to oscillate front and back and it will try to move in the front direction like say for example if i'm taking the free body diagram of this one initially this one is the position i'm drawing one more time see right now here the same condition initially this is the position of your x so when you're drumming it what is happening is this air molecules will try to shift in the front direction better so this has been slightly shifted in the front direction this slider has been slightly moved in the front direction isn't it and this part also from here it has been slightly moved in the front direction just to make you to understand right now isn't it so this is actual position of this one better this one was the actual position of this one x plus of your dx part deflation now this has been come to the new position that means this slider has been come from your x to your y and this will be equal to how much beta x plus of your dx and this will be equal to your y plus of your dy and the other matam slider which is along with the molecules right now the pressure at this position will become how much beta initially there was a pressure p naught but because of the drumming the pressure is increasing so light increase in that one i am representing it by delta p part of relation is it clear so that increase in this one from here to here is how much beta for me from here to here the increase is nothing but y plus of your there is a change in displacement. So what I have written right now, when sound waves have been propagating, the density as well as the pressure of the medium varies with respect to what? Distance. That is the reason it has been varying with respect to your distance part of relation. Is it clear for everyone? <coughs> is this diagram clear for everyone? Longitudinal wave equation is y is equal to a into sine omega t minus kx beta. And here y is always parallel to your x. The best example for the longitudinal waves are nothing but of your sound waves as per in your syllabus. And this is say for example some air molecules which have been trapped in your cylindrical structure of your body beta. And these are the molecules. When we generally speak, when it is general atmospheric pressure has been present, there is a small rare fraction sign compressions which have been present in this one. But when drumming is being placed in front of this one, the slider or whatever the molecules have been present will try to move in the front direction, the form of your compressions and as well as of your rare fractions part of relation. That means it is having a probability that this sound energy can trans make, can make a material to move from one point to another point part of relation. Now the pressure variation, if I'm writing, if I do go back to the electro what you call elasticity chapter, pressure variation, pressure variation pressure variation is due to what beta i'm talking about your air molecules kabati i'll be talking about bulk modulus of your air because it has an elasticity because you already know this chapter beta bulk modulus of your air what is the bulk modulus of your air beta so it is b is equals to your change in pressure divided by your minus of your change in volume divided by original volume isn't it? So here everything is happening right now for me. That means change in pressure from this equation I can write here. Delta P will be equal to minus of your B into your, this will become for me delta V by your V. Okay now. So what is S beta here? S is nothing but equal to your cross-sectional area. S is nothing but your cross-sectional area. P naught is nothing but what beta? Atmospheric pressure. P naught is your atmospheric pressure. Atmospheric pressure. And B is nothing but what beta? Bulk modulus. B is your bulk modulus from your elasticity chapter beta. V initial volume will be equal to your area into its length. 
and the change in volume will be equal to your s into your dy change in volume part of relation so i can write from here delta p will be equal to your minus of your p into delta y is s into your dy divided by v initial will be equal to your s into your dx this s and this s will get cancelled so change in pressure can be written as of your minus of your bulk modulus into your the equation of y dy by your dx the slope of your y with respect to your x axis so change in pressure will be equal to how much better delta p is equals to minus of your bulk modulus into dy by dx see we already know the value of y beta I, so i can differentiate this y with respect to x and i can get the value of your dy by dx isn't it so i can write from this one relation right now from here as as y is equals to your a into your sine this one is your omega t minus of your k into your x if i'm differentiating this one with respect to your x so it will become for me dy by dx is equals to this one is a out this one is differentiating with respect to so with respect to x but omega t i'm taking it as of a constant right now in this one so differentiation of sine will be equal to how much for me cos and in this one it is minus or so chain rule gabati so this will become right now here minus and here it will be equal to your k differentiation of sine will be equal to your cos of your omega t minus of your k into your x i hope everyone has got this differentiation better if anyone is having any doubt you please let me know a bring i have been brought out this totally i'm assuming as a fair theta differentiation of sine theta is nothing but cos theta and it is a changeable chain rule gabati differentiation of your k into x will be equal to minus k out differentiation of your dy by your dx will be equal to your how much for me minus of your a into your this will become for me how much better cos of your omega t minus of your k into your x is it clear is it clear dy by dx is equals to minus of your a k a into k cos of your omega t minus of k into x so therefore i can write pressure variation pressure variation pressure variation that is delta p will be equal to your minus of your bulk modulus into this one will be equal to your this one is minus of this value so this is minus of your a into your k into your cos of your omega t minus of your k into your x is it clear up to here so now see in this one anything is becoming constant from this one you see beta so change in pressure will be equal to change in pressure will be equal to this is minus this is minus so that will become for me plus so this will become for me b constant a constant into k b a k is your constant and this will be equal to your cos of your omega t minus of your k into your x part of relation this b a into k is a constant that constant is called as of your pressure amplitude that is represented by delta p is equals to your delta p not and ask question and p max into your cos of your omega t minus of your k into x so this is called as of what beta pressure amplitude this is called as of your pressure amplitude so where pressure amplitude is equal so much better so pressure amplitude if i am writing pressure amplitude is represented by delta p max delta p max that will be equal to how much better b a into your k so that will be your pressure amplitude so pressure amplitude is equal to your you can even write as if your p not better that is not a problem right now so a value of the k will be equal to how much better in this one k value is equal to your 2 pi by your lambda and a is known as of your how much better amplitude a is nothing but of your amplitude okay so this is your wave equation which you should able to remember for doing the numerical so sorry this is the wave pressure equation which you should able to remember okay so delta p is equals to your delta p not into cos of your omega t minus of k into x where k is equals to 2 pi by lambda and a is nothing but of your amplitude in this one b is bulk modulus and k is nothing but of your 2 pi by lambda is it clear for everyone is it clear for everyone no laps this one is equation number 2 and i am taking this one as of your equation number 1 now see do you find any difference between the equation 1 and equation 2 beta do you find any difference there do you find any difference from the equation 1 and equation 2 see equation 1 is a sine function and equation 2 is a cos function isn't it so i can write here right now 
सर वन स्क्रोल अप सर यस बेटा सो व्हाट इज द डिफरेंस बिटवीन इक्वेशन एंड क्वेश्चन को बेटा कैन एनीवन टेल मी डिफरेंस बिटवीन इक्वेशन वन एंड इक्वेशन टू Sine and cos, so there will be phase difference of how much? Ninety degrees. That is pi by two. How much is that? So I can write here from one nine two. Pressure variation. Pressure variation has phase difference. This has been already asked so many times in competitive examination, beta. Even the students very micro level will leave this one because at the middle and just after that one, so compulsory we chana sal adiyadi with respect to your competitive examination and grab draw jada mela neethi. Adi kani chum jagrata ka gurte bed konde. This will be helpful for us. So from equation one into pressure variation has a phase difference of your how much beta pi by two with what beta with your displacement with the displacement variation of particle. अंत कदा फस्ट इक्वेशन एमो डिस्प्लेसमेंट नैक्स्ट इक्वेशन एमो प्रेजर प्रेजर इक्वे की डिस्प्लेसमेंट इक्वे डिफरें पै बै टू डिफरें डिस्प्लेसमेंट कीरो प्रेजर एंत डिस्प्लेसमेंट जीरो प्रेजर मैक्सीम अस्प्लेसमेंट मैक्सीम प्रेजर मिनीम अज क्लियर अर्थम फर् एवरी वन बेटा Yes, sir. What do you mean by the equation one and two right now from this one? So we have been getting that if the displacement, I'll write that one, that point also here, so that it will be easy for you to remember. Keeping a star mark, I'll write. If displacement, displacement, y is zero. If displacement is zero, this implies me what, beta? Maximum amplitude. maximum pressure amplitude maximum pressure so maximum pressure means what will be equal to how much beta p max will be equal to your atmospheric pressure plus of your delta p max ante that will be equal to your p not plus of your b into a into your k atmospheric pressure kuda consider chestunnam kabatti so displacement zero aithe pressure entha avutunda anna manaku maximum is it clear for everyone Yes, sir. The same way. If the displacement is, like, say, for example, of your maximum. Okay. So at that time, minimum pressure. And the other maximum ante ante na na maximum ante right now. This will be what maximum pressure ante at what position better? Compression ne gada. At your compression. The same way. If displacement is maximum. If displacement. Is maximum. That is why is your max. Okay, then pressure will be minimum. Then pressure will be minimum. Pressure will be minimum. If pressure is minimum means whenever I'm using word minimum, that represents for me what beta rare fraction. Isn't it? So minimum pressure will be written as of your P naught minus of your P A into your K. Minimum pressure. Is it clear? Is it clear? Minimum pressure. Pressure will be minimum at a rate fraction. Maximum pressure at a compression. Maximum pressure of this is P naught plus B A K, and minimum pressure will be equal to P naught minus of your B A K. Is it clear for everyone? क्वल टू वाटा 
wavelength. Is equal to wavelength. Very good. Is equal to wavelength. Represented by lambda. Clear? Yes, sir. Adam and under key. Pressure wave, it is very important. And either you put the other my potting come on a motham sound, I penetrate almost all. But the Mirita part and the easy part in case basically. So longitudinal wave for pressure part of relation, longitudinal wave equation is y is equal to a into sin omega t minus kx, y is parallel to your x axis part of relation. So if I'm deriving it with the help of the pressure, we are getting delta change in pressure will be equal to minus of your t into dy by dx. I differentiated your y with respect to your x, I got the value of dy by dx, substitute simplified it. I got the pressure formula as delta p is equal to your p naught into cos of omega t minus kx. P naught is known as maximum pressure and the value of that one is equal to ba into your k part of relation. This is very, very important bit. Okay. And the difference between the pressure amplitude and as well as of your, this amplitude will be equal to how much? Can anyone tell me? So the pressure variation has a phase difference of your, how much for me better? Pi by, pi by the, two. Yeah. Maximum pressure means compression. Maximum pressure means your compression and that is equals to P naught plus BA and minimum pressure means right now when the pressure is minimum it will be P naught minus of BAK. Minimum pressure means refraction and maximum pressure means compression. Clear? Yes sir. I hope everyone has been got a clarity in this one up to now. If there is any confusion please ask me. Andar 35. Karthi Kunada didn't know. Karthi? Sir. Uh, you have sent me a question in the WhatsApp. Yes, sir. Do it, no? Yes, sir. I am not sure what I am doing. That is an Olympiad question, but are you preparing for an Olympiad? Uh, no, sir. Mari, you have to ask me a Okay, sir. From picture, sir. Okay, okay, fine, fine. I'll do it better. At the moment today, I am having some free time in afternoon or maybe in the uh, meantime, I'll try to help you out with that. Okay, na? Yes, sir. Okay, sir. So I hope you are clear with this one better. Up to uh, if there is any doubt, you please let me know. I'll try to help you out better. Clear, under ki? Yes, sir. No. We'll try to draw the graph for that. Mir Chapan, try to help me out in drawing the graph between both of them. This is your graph. If I'm saying that, if I'm starting my displacement from your y-axis, something like this. And if the wave is going like this. Okay. So this one is your plus A. This is your mean position. This is your x1. This is your x2. And this is your x3. And this is your maximum amplitude again. And this is your also maximum amplitude. And this amplitude in the downward direction is equal to your minus of your E. Isn't it? So this is a displacement function at time t is equal to how much beta? Zero. So this is your x-axis law. And this is your y. Y versus your x graph. Okay. Now I'm drawing again same for this one. This one is your pressure versus your graph part of pressure. Now tell me. At your this one, at this position, we are having maximum displacement beta. I thought the pressure in the Japan. What will be the pressure? Maximum displacement card of pressure and the wala. Pressure amplitude and the wala. Chaptara? Minimum. Minimum. And if I am trying to draw the graph right now for this one, so at this position, it will be your minimum. And here it should be equal to how much beta? Maximum. Ona? Okay. And here right now again for me, here is a maximum displacement right now for me. And here at the maximum displacement right now, there should be what beta? 
minimum displacement for me, minimum pressure amplitude for me. Oh, no, Again, here it is a minimum displacement. So I should be having your maximum pressure at this position. Again, this is your maximum displacement at this position. So you should be having the minimum amplitude. That means if I'm drawing a graph for this one, I may be a little bit uh, but try to understand my meaning, what exactly I'm trying to tell. Here it is a maximum displacement means this will be your minimum displacement. So here, this is minimum displacement. Here, it will be a maximum pressure. Here, it is maximum gravity. Here, it will become for me minimum. Oh, no? Again, here, it is your minimum, maximum gravity, minimum. Again, it is minimum gravity. Here, it will become for me your maximum. Then it will go like this. Clear? Yes, sir. And here, it will go like this. Clear, Ardhaminda? So this is the position of your x1, this is the position of your x2, this is the position of your x3, and this is the position of your x4, anything basically. So minimum displacement, maximum pressure, maximum amplitude right now here, minimum pressure, minimum displacement, maximum pressure, maximum amplitude, minimum pressure. Okay, now? Yes, sir. So maximum pressure until our asam nana everyone jeptara. This will be equal to your atmospheric pressure plus of your B A into your K. Minimum pressure until how do you write better right now for here? Diagram punch matu to achindi. So this will become how much for me better? This will become for me P naught minus of your B A into your K back. So this is your pressure variation. This is your pressure variation. And this is your displacement variation. Displacement variation. Is it clear for everyone? Okay. Yes, sir. Some, some points here right now you tell me. So, pressure at your x is equals to zero will be equal to how much for me beta? P naught. Pressure at x is equals to your x1 will be equal to P naught plus of your B A into your K. Pressure at your x is equals to your x2 will be equal to your how much beta? P naught. Only atmospheric pressure on 20. This will become for me zero. Then again, pressure at your x is equals to your x3 will be equal to your P naught minus of your BA into your K. Is that clear? Okay, now? Yes, sir. So I hope everyone got an idea how we are converting the displacement graph into your pressure graph. So let us try to go for the next one. A relation between pressure and velocity of particle. A relation between your pressure and your velocity of your particle. Okay. Na? So velocity of the particle, how do you write beta? Velocity of the particle is equals to omega into your a into your cos this will be omega t minus of your k into x and then uh, velocity of the particle are awesome. v is equals to your a omega into cos of your omega t minus of your k into your x particle maximum velocity is called as what beta velocity of amplitude that means the maximum value of this one will become how much will be? vp max will be equal to how much better maximum velocity of the particle means cos value should be equal to maximum and that value will be equal to your a into your omega antenna okay pressure amplitude will be equal to how much better maximum pressure p max will be equal to this will be equal to b a into your k part of okay so therefore if I'm taking the ratio of your atmospheric pressure divided by your V naught. V naught and T right now, pressure amplitude, no, not atmospheric pressure. It is your pressure amplitude part of relation. So P naught is equals to your pressure amplitude, maximum pressure amplitude. Pressure amplitude. Then P max the good Ras coach. Or else you can even write this one as of your P naught. P naught is equals to P max, that is equals to B A into your K part of relation. And V0 is nothing but what beta? Maximum velocity. That means Vp. So V0 will be equal to your Vp max. That will be equal to what beta? Maximum velocity. Maximum velocity of particle. Maximum velocity of particle. So P0 by V0, and if I'm taking the ratio of this one, 
So this will be equal to BA into K divided by your A into your omega. A and A will get cancelled. So the ratio of your pressure amplitude by your velocity of the particle will be equal to your B into K divided by your omega. Okay. That means the pressure amplitude will become for me P naught is equals to B into velocity of your particle K into your, this will become for me K by omega can be written as beta. Can anyone tell me? As omega by K is equals to your wave velocity, isn't it? So K by omega will become for me how much better? One by your V, isn't it? V is nothing but what beta? Wave velocity wave velocity so this is your pressure p naught is equals to b into v naught divided by your v v naught is nothing but velocity of the particle and is this small v is nothing but of your wave velocity is that clear so i'll write here in my sir yes beta. so pressure amplitude pressure amplitude is equals to b means what beta bulk modulus B is nothing but of your bulk modulus into velocity of velocity amplitude or velocity of your particle, maximum velocity of the particle divided by your wave speed, divided by your wave speed. Is it clear for everyone? So pressure amplitude is equal to much better bulk modulus into your velocity of the particle divided by your wave speed. Okay, sir. Chalo, very good. Next side reading, beta. Longitudinal. Longitudinal wave velocity. Longitudinal wave velocity. What is the transverse wave velocity, beta formula? Transverse wave velocity formula. Chapala, transverse wave velocity formula in D. Transverse wave velocity formula in D. Derived question with much better. Very good. See, speed of a transverse wave in a string is given by what formula? V is equals to under root of T by mu. Yeah. So, transverse wave velocity formula in the V is equals to under root of your T by mu. In the same way, what will be the longitudinal wave velocity or sound wave velocity? Okay. See, I'm using the Newton's laws of relation beta here. So, when the wave sound wave is been going, that is because of the force applied here right now. So, the force applied will be equal to as per our Newton uncle's relation. F is equal to your M into your E. Force can I write in terms of pressure beta? So that will be equal to your minus of your delta P into your area of cross section. That is nothing but S. That will be equal to mass. Mass is equal to volume into density. That is density. Volume will be equal to your area into your displacement. That is nothing but DX into acceleration. Acceleration I can write in terms of X beta. This will be equal to your D square X divided by your D into your D T square. Which is another key? Is it so everyone? Into the Force acting on this particle, whenever there is a vibrations of the verticals beta right now, when a sound wave is been vibrating or when the sound wave is going from one point to another point, that is because of the force exerting on the particle. So if I'm considering the long cylindrical tube, whatever I have taken in the previous case right now, in this case, the previous case, I have taken this diagram, isn't it? So in this one, you see, here there is a force exerted by this wave. We are considering this one as a long tube filled with the air. A single pulse when it has been traveling from left end with a speed of your V. Isn't it? So what we are doing is we are taking, the, we are exerting the force acting on this particle right now. So what is that force acting on the particle? F will be equal to how much better? On the small element of this one, on the small element of this one, I'm applying the force formula. So F will be equal to your M into your E. Force will be equal to your pressure into your area. And think of that because pressure is equal to how much for me better? Pressure is equals to force by your area of cross section, Gada. S is nothing but what for me? Area, fluid mechanics law. So F is equals to change in pressure into area. 
opposite direction right now because the displacement of the particle is in the friendly direction atmospheric pressure is in the opposite direction right now so change in pressure is equals to how much per meter minus of your delta p into this mass is equals to volume into density volume i am writing as area into displacement and density rho as it is acceleration is d square x by your dt square is it clear yes yes so this is delta p i can even write this one as of your dp small condition i can write as of your dp so i can take right now your dp divided by your dx dp divided by your dx will be equal to your this will become for me this is and this is will get cancel so this will be equal to your rho into your this one is your d square into your so with respect to your x we have taken x value will be equal to how much beta y this kanam kada manam problem lo so it should be taken as of your y here right because when the pressure is been applied on that one so it is getting changed from y to x to your y so it is d square y by your dt square clear so this one is your dp i'll also write this one also clearly so this one is your dp small change in your pressure Okay, so minus of dp by dx will be equal to rho into d square y by your dp square. So this can be written as of your differentiation of d by dx into pressure will be equal to how much better minus of your p into your. We you know the formula dy by your dx. We just now we have derived it. That is equals to rho into your. This will become for me d square y divided by your dt square. So I can write this one as of your b into. This will become for me d square into y. Divided by your d into your x square as per your. I'm just taking the b constant out, I'm multiplying with this one. So that will be equal to your how much for me? This will be equal to your. This will be equal to your rho into your dou square into sorry d square into your y divided by your d t square. Okay, now next two. Okay. Bye, Kelvin. Is that clear? Minus b dy by dx rho d p ni dras kana da b p ni e formula on the p k pressure ki pressure e formula on the ka na na ikada chori in the mother derivation na ikada pressure is equals to ikada derivation chori na ikada derivation kada abhi mute mute delta p is equals to minus of b into dy by dx and dras kochi kada isn't it a value ka dras kana na so that delta p will be equal to your minus of your p p is equals to your minus of p into dy by dx e minus minus plus i potundi so that is the reason we are not getting minus sign here b is your bulk modulus d square y by dx square is equals to rho into d square y by your dt square vachindi andarki idi so can i rearrange this one beta d square y by your dt square if i am taking this one d square y by your dt square Will be equal to your bulk modulus b divided by your rho. Bulk modulus b into this will become for me how much d square y by your t into your x square. If you choose that, then I will do something. Let me go. The equation I choose, I will do something. Compare it with standard equation. Standard equation derivation. Let me go quickly. Dou square y by your dou into your t square is equal to your v square into your dou square into y divided by dou into your x square. The derivation I'm making now. Dou is nothing but of your partial differentiation. So this can be written as of your dou square y by dou t square is equal to b by rho into dou square y by your dou x square. So comparing that one, v square position like what's in the number? V square is equal to your b by your rho. B is a bulk modulus. Rho is a density. So velocity formula will be equal to v is equal to under root of your bulk modulus divided by rho. Is that clear for everyone? So velocity of your longitudinal waves is been calculated by the formula v is equal to under root of your b by v. So this is your longitudinal wave velocity. This is your longitudinal wave velocity. Transverse wave velocity and the v is equal to under root of t by mu. Longitudinal wave velocity, which is v is equal to under root of your b by rho. Is that clear for everyone? What is the b beta? Bulk <laughs> modulus. Rho is nothing but what density. 
ఓకే ఫ్లూయిడ్స్ కి ఇది అప్లికేబుల్ అవుతుంది అని ఒకవేళ నేను సాలిడ్స్ గురించి మాట్లాడాను అనుకోండి ఇఫ్ ఈస్ ఆస్కింగ్ ఇన్ సాలిడ్స్ ఐ కెన్ రైట్ వన్ పాయింట్ ఇన్ లాంగిట్యూడినల్ ఆర్ ఐ కెన్ సే ఇన్ సాలిడ్స్ ఇన్ సాలిడ్స్ ద లాంగిట్యూడినల్ వేవ్ వెలాసిటీ ద లాంగిట్యూడినల్ వేవ్ వెలాసిటీ ద లాంగిట్యూడినల్ వేవ్ వెలాసిటీ ఈస్ వి ఈస్ ఈక్వల్స్ టు సాలిడ్స్ కి మనం ఇలాస్టిసిటీ ఎలా రిప్రజెంట్ చేస్తాం ఎంగ్స్ మోడలర్స్ డివైడెడ్ బై రో అవునా కదా సో వాట్ ఈస్ యువర్ వై హియర్ వై ఈస్ యువర్ ఎంగ్స్ మోడ్యూలర్స్ ఎంగ్స్ మోడలర్స్ అండ్ రో ఈస్ యువర్ డెన్సిటీ ఆఫ్ సాలిడ్ రో ఈస్ యువర్ డెన్సిటీ ఆఫ్ యువర్ సాలిడ్ హియర్ ద డెన్సిటీ ఆఫ్ యువర్ మీడియం ఓకే సో లాంగ్ వేవ్స్ ఇన్ ఎయిర్ దిస్ వన్ ఇస్ ఫర్ యువర్ ఎయిర్ this is for air or fluids so for solids if i am talking about the longitudinal wave velocity is given by this formula so this will be the formula for okay na so for the air or for the medium it is v is equal to under root of your p by rho and in the solids or longitudinal wave it is v is equal to under root of your y by rho part of relation is that clear adam and andar ki ikkada varaku yes sir so velocity of your longitudinal waves in the medium is given by the formula v is equals to under root of your p by rho clear yes sir yes sir see here beta newton by his experimental observations experimental observations told that told that the medium the medium is isothermal in nature isothermal in nature means temperature is constant isothermal in nature so bulk modulus was equal to your pressure bulk modulus of that medium was equal to what beta pressure p is nothing but what for me your pressure bulk modulus was equal to your pressure so velocity of sound therefore velocity of sound in air in air is v is equals to under root of your in the place of bulk modulus i'll write p by your rho so this is the velocity of your sound so velocity of sound in your air is equal to how much beta under root of your p by rho where p is your isothermal elasticity of your air beta and newton argued that sound will be propagating through the air when the temperature of the air is remaining constant so this formula is called as of your newton's formula newton's formula for the speed of sound for speed of sound so when they calculated the value of this one see what is the value we can be getting for this one v is equals to under root p is nothing but of your atmospheric pressure one atmospheric pressure is 1.013 into 10 to the power of 5 pascal divided by density of the air is approximately 1.29 these are the values beta so when they calculated for this one they found that velocity of the sound was 280 meter per second okay so this was the velocity of the sound which newton has been calculated during his period of a time and for a long time it has been assumed that the velocity of the sound is this much only but afterwards a scientist who have been studied the newton's disciple in the 1816 laplace had been given small correction that he told that sound is not propagating in a constant medium where the temperature is remaining constant but it is propagating in the air and when it is propagating in the air the surrounding air will be getting heated up and it will remain constant instead of your 
temperature. That means heat of the heat of the medium remains constant instead of your temperature. So he replaced that isothermal elasticity by your adiabatic elasticity beta. Is that clear? What a Newton has assumed. Newton told that the velocity of the sound in which it is been going in the air, it will be going in such medium where the medium is having a constant temperature. But Laplace has been told that that is a wrong statement given by the Newton. And he made a small correction and told that whenever there is a sound propagating into the air particulation, the surrounding here area will be getting heated up. So heat of that medium will be remaining constant, but not the temperature. So he replaced the isothermal elasticity by your adiabatic elasticity and he corrected the formula. So the formula which we are using right now is called as of your Laplace Newton's correction formula. Is it clear for everyone? Is it clear for everyone? As per the Newton, what is the velocity of sound beta? 280 meter per second. So later, later it was found wrong. Later it was found wrong. So this is the wrong part. Then let us try to go for the next one. That is about your Laplace correction. Laplace is the name of the scientist beta. Laplace correction. He made a small correction better, remaining everything was same. He just told that whenever there is an air medium, isn't it? He is a French scientist better. He pointed out that whenever a sound is been propagating, when sound propagates, when sound propagates in air, in air, the heat of the medium remains constant the heat of medium remains constant it remains constant but not temperature but not temperature so he replaced he replaced isothermal elasticity isothermal elasticity by adiabatic adiabatic elasticity in adiabatic elasticity delta q will be equal to zero thermodynamics which has been termed so i'll be writing this one as of your v is equals to under root of your b adiabatic divided by your density and you already studied in elasticity that adiabatic bulk modulus will be equal to your how much better b will be equal to your how much for me b will be equal to your gamma times of your pressure good to the derived jana bulk modulus is equal to your gamma times of your pressure it is thermodynamics derived jason last year so i can write here velocity of your sound in your air will be equal to under root of your Bulk modulus of your A adiabatic expansion will be equal to your gamma times of your pressure divided by rho. So this is the actual correct formula for the velocity of your sound particle Clear? So what is the formula? V is equal to under root of your gamma P by your rho. If you need the derivation, you let me, I'll tell you. For air, for air, gamma value will be equal to how much better? 7 by 4. So speed of the sound in air will be calculated by this one is equals to under root of your gamma into under root of your P by rho. So that is equals to under root of gamma. Gamma value already is how much for me beta? 7 by 4. That is under root of your 7 by 4 into this one is how much already we got as per the Newton. He has been got already how much for me? 280. Under root of P by rho is equals to how much for me? 280. So that value I'm writing directly here. Under root of this one is nothing but of your 280. So if you simplify this one, this is approximately coming to be 332 meter per second. So this is the velocity of your sound. So experimental value of the velocity of the sound as per the Newton's Laplace correction is 330 meter per second or 332 meter per second part of relation. This value is very much close to the experimental values beta. So we'll be taking approximately 330 or 332 or 330 depending upon the data whichever has been given. If any, nothing has been given, we can even take 330 and try to simplify the problem. Is that clear for everyone? Yes, Is sir. That clear for everyone? So in the medium. Sir, when now should we after, take 282? This is the wrong statement, beta. He'll be just asking you which is the correct formula, Newton's or Newton's law, Newton's Laplace correction. 
be this is the formula which actually newton has been told but afterwards it has been found to be wrong we don't get the problems on this one then laplace has been corrected and told that the medium is not your temperature is remaining constant but what is remaining beta the heat of your medium is remaining constant when heat is remaining constant so adiabatic expansion has been taking place so it is an adiabatic elasticity so that is the reason the velocity of the sound will be taken by the formula v is equal to under root of your bulk modulus of your adiabatic divided by density bulk modulus of your adiabatic will be equal to how much for me gamma times of your pressure gamma is equal to how much beta cp by your cv what do you mean by cp specific heat at your constant pressure divided by your specific heat at your constant volume so you should know what is the gamma value for monoatomic diatomic triatomic so you need to do little bit of a revision of your thermodynamics for the values of your gamma but ultimately the standard formula what we will be using to calculate the velocity of sound is velocity of sound is under root of your gamma into p by rho so for the air gamma value is 7 by 4 so simplifying it we will be getting 332 meter per second is it clear yes sir is it ఓకేనా ఇది ఎలా వచ్చింది అనేది కూడా మనం క్యాలిక్యులేట్ చేసుకోవచ్చు నాన్న బల్క్ మోడలెస్ ఇస్ ఈక్వల్స్ గామా టైమ్స్ ఆఫ్ ఎఫ్ ఎలా వచ్చింది అది రఫ్ గా నేను ఒకసారి ప్రూఫ్ ఇచ్చేస్తాను చూడండి మీరు ఆల్రెడీ ఇది ఫస్ట్ ఇయర్ లో చేసి ఉంటారు ఫస్ట్ ఇయర్ ఐ గివ్ యూ అండ్ అడియాబెటిక్ ఎక్స్పాన్షన్ వాట్ ఈస్ రిలేషన్ బిట్ పివి టు ద పవర్ ఆఫ్ గామా ఇస్ ఈక్వల్స్ టు కాన్స్టెంట్ గుర్తుందా ఈ రిలేషన్ ఎస్ సర్ ఎస్ సర్ నౌ దిస్ వన్ differentiate both the sides so i'll keep the first p constant then i'll differentiate the value of this one so this will become for me gamma v to the power of your gamma minus 1 ona kada into your this will be equal dv plus then i'll keep v to the power of gamma constant and differentiate the next term that is nothing but of your dp differentiation of a constant will become how much for me zero ona yes is it clear this is v to the power of gamma this is v to the power of gamma so i can take all the v's and one side and try to simplify beta so this will coming out for me gamma into your p into your dv that will be plus of your v into your dp so v to the power of gamma minus 1 and v to the power of gamma you add both of them that will be coming out for me how much beta v is it clear is it clear yes sir అంతేనా చూడండి నేను మన కాలిక్యులేషన్ తప్పు చేస్తున్నాను ఇక్కడ గామా కూడా వస్తుంది కదా ఇది ఎంత వస్తుంది వి టు ద పవర్ ఆఫ్ గామా మైనస్ వన్ ప్లస్ వి టు ద పవర్ ఆఫ్ యువర్ గామా దిస్ ఇస్ గామా పి ఇంటూ డివి ప్లస్ వి ఇంటూ డివి దట్ విల్ బి ఈక్వల్ టు యువర్ జీరో ఓకే వచ్చేస్తుంది so that will be equal to how much beta gamma times of your pressure into change in volume will be equal to minus of your v into your dp can i write like this and we know that change in pressure divided by your minus of your change in volume by your original volume will be equal to how much beta gamma times of your pressure dp by delta v by v is known as what beta bulk modulus so bulk modulus is equals to your gamma times of your pressure is it clear yes achinda so this was about your little bit introduction related to your sound wave so go through the notes very carefully and try to make your concepts clear we'll try to do some numericals based on this one in the tomorrow session of a class i have sended you what do you call that one one question uh, list on your whatsapp you please try to start doing them beta tomorrow or day after tomorrow i'll start doing the numericals from that okay na yes sir asam ainda ye roz yes sir anyhow i have also just sending you the recorded version emana doubt unte akkada malo sir meeru chusukochu there is no problem in that one okay na take care